Hey guys, this is Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Welcome. Uh, we started a new study yesterday. It comes from Luke chapter 7, verse 36 through 50. I read it yesterday. I encourage you to read it before you watch the rest of this video. And, um, but it's about Simon the Pharisee. He invites Jesus to come to his house to dine. The problem is, is he doesn't do the normal customary things that you're supposed to do when a, a guest walks into your house. In those days, the first thing they did was give a holy kiss or a kiss of peace. They would place their hand on the person's shoulder and then kiss him on the cheek. Um, then after that, they would either give them water to wash their own feet or they would actually wash the person's feet. Why? Because it was really dusty. There were no sidewalks and, and uh, you know, um, streets. It was all dusty and so they would wash their feet. And then finally what they would do is anoint the guest with oil, with olive oil. Simon did none of those things to Jesus, okay? Today I want to talk a little bit about the guests that were there because really the only true guest that was supposed to be in the house was Jesus. But in those days what they did was anyone that had a prominence who were you know very well known uh, their houses they put it kind of in a uh, an area where there was a co courtyard and whenever they had guests over they would have the dinner out in the courtyard or if they didn't have a courtyard they'd leave the doors open where people could look in now I don't know why they did that uh, maybe it's because the Pharisees and and the people that had a lot of money and stuff wanted to impress other people by who they entertained we're not sure but in this case there they were and these people were walking up and looking in now trust me all of these people recognized that um, uh, Simon had treated Jesus wrongly because he had not done the customary thing that people normally do but here's the real issue the very next thing as we look into this story is there's a woman that walks into the house now once again, remember this is a Pharisee. And so for him to, in, to have a woman walk into the house is one thing, but this woman was a sinner, the Bible says. So look with me at verse 30, um, 36, uh, 37. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner when she when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask, flask of uh, fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with tears and wipe them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with fragrant oil. Understand something about this woman. This was not an invited guest. This was a woman who was known as a sinner. Now some people say that she could have been a, the wife of a prominent, well-known uh, person in, in town who was a sinner, but most scholars say no, she was recognized as a, as a prostitute. So now, here's a Pharisee, his door is open and in walks this prostitute. And she walks up behind the guest who is Jesus Christ. Now, another custom that you need to know is what happened was when, when people dined back then, the tables were real low, and they would kneel down on their left side and eat with their right hand off the table, and their feet were away from the, the uh, uh, table because feet were dirty. And so, and that's the way they recline. So in walks this woman, and she's standing at the feet of Jesus. Now, Jesus' feet are away from the table. You wonder why she, she was crying. Could it be, first of all, she had heard Jesus speak someplace else, and all of a sudden was touched by his message, and was moved and stirred and wanted to have a relationship with him um, because she recognized him as the Messiah? Could it be, though, that she was also disturbed that here Jesus was and tr mistreated by uh, Simon the, the Pharisee? We're not exactly sure, but we do know that she was in a state of, of weeping and crying. And so she kneels down and begins to drop her, her um, uh, tears on the feet of Jesus. She has no towel, so this was not something she'd planned on doing, or she would have brought a towel with her. So she takes her hair down. Understand, the custom was a woman was never to let her down, hair down 
in front of any other man except her own husband. And here she is dropping her hair down and using her hair to wipe the feet of the guest, who is the teacher. And then she takes this alabaster flask, which is very, very expensive oil, and she pours and anoints the feet of Jesus. Can you imagine? By the way, if you notice, nothing's said at this point. It, everybody's silent. And you can just imagine the guests there with their mouths wide open go, oh my gosh. We know what, how Simon responds. He goes, wow, if he was a prophet, he'd know what kind of, of what man or woman this is and not allow her to touch him. But Jesus does, right? Okay, so we're going to pick up this story again tomorrow. So we've looked so far at the Pharisee, and now we've looked at the, at, at the woman, and we're going to go on with this story tomorrow. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.